So Trump is the first president of the United States to get indicted, and this is a New York, uh, New York indictment. Trump has been indicted following an investigation into a hush money payment scheme. Here's what we know. So, former President Donald Trump, indicted by New York grand jury, has thrust the nation into an uncharted political, legal, and historical waters and raised a slew of questions about how the criminal case will unfold. Right? So what's the indictment for? Trump faces more than 30 counts of related to business frauds in the indictment. It remains under seal. The former president is expected to be arraigned in Manhattan criminal court next Tuesday, but the timing of the appearance remains fluid. <sighs> the investigation by Manhattan District Jury Office began when Trump was still in the White House and relates to a $130,000 thousand payment made by Trump's then personal attorney, Michael Cohen, to Daniels in the late October 2016. So basically, he used money that he got from the campaign as hush money to Stormy Daniels to get her to shut the up, you know what I mean? To get her to, be, to, get her to shut the up, you know what I mean? But guess what? It didn't work. The story still got out. So that happened. And when after that happened, um... We get into the whole little, little squabble, little, 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 little thing that happened where I think um, Michael Cohen, right, faced federal criminal charges. So he went to jail because Trump Organization executive authorized payments to him totaling to 420000 to cover his original 130 100000 payment and tax liabilities and reward him with the bonus. The company noted the reimbursements as a legal expense in its internal books. Trump has denied knowledge of the payment. So basically, they used the, they put the hush money in with legal fees to pay for Stormy Daniels shit and they found the paper trail and they figured it out and now Trump has been indicted for that and he has to go to court for it. Because you cannot use campaign funds for things like that. Um so I guess, so this is what happens. He gets indicted, then he has to surrender, then he makes his first appearance, and then there's the arraignment. So we're gonna see what happens. Um, it's official, there's an official indictment out for Trump. Um, we'll see what happens. He's in Florida, and DeSantis is not gonna extradite him to New York, which is kind of weird to me how like, the weird, it's weird how the states work sometimes, because. One state could be like, yo, we ain't fucking with what the president's saying or with what that state's doing. We're doing our own thing over here. So guess what? Since we're doing our own thing over here, we're not going to extradite Trump. You guys have to come get him. But it's the state of New York. The state of New York does not have jurisdiction with Florida. And if DeSantis is saying, yeah, hey, we ain't extraditing him, then the state of Florida, their hands are tied. They can't do nothing. Teflon Don, baby. Niggas in Mar-a-Lago smoking a cigar. He's smoking on his ops. Ops. Teflon Don. I'm just saying, this. it happened. He said he was going to get indicted. That didn't happen. I thought he was thought he was trying to troll on us, but no. Teflon Don, bro. Holy. Holy, man. Hopefully. Hope, hopefully, we can get... I don't, I don't even... There's no hopefully. I don't really care. <laughs> you know what I mean? This is just some popcorn. I'm gonna see what happens, and this nigga is is I don't I don't think they're gonna fry him because he was the president to to put the president in jail. They might fine him, give him some house arrest. You know what I mean? Some probation. I don't think they're gonna throw him in jail. And if they do, he's gonna be in a cushy jail. He was the president. They're not gonna put a former president in general population. <clears throat> You know what I mean? Anyways, I think they're doing this because he's going to run for president again, and they don't want him to run for president. So they're trying to put this type of federal charge on him so he can't run for president. I think that's what's going on. I don't think he's going to go to jail. They're doing it so that he can't run for president during this term. He misses it, and then, boom, he's not eligible to run, and then he has to wait another four years, and then they might do some next shit on him. I don't know. Who knows? That's just my little theory. We don't know that much so far, but all we know is he can chill in Florida. 
if he wants. But the moment he leaves that border, he's done, I think. Or, I don't know. I don't even know how it works. It's just interesting. We talked about it before. So I had to bring it up again. I had to let you guys know what was going on. Um, so now that that's over with, <clears throat> we got an update with Trump. Trump was doing his thing with Stormy Daniels. He tried to cover it up, but no, 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 no. They caught him slipping. You know what I mean? Man, I fell down to my knees when the law came. <laughs> Yo, they're coming for him. They're coming for him. Anyways, pause. Pause. Is that a pause? That's a pause. I don't care. That's a pause. 